let's start with the basics for drone control. Using up on the D-pad will take it out. Using the right analog stick will look around, while the left analog stick moves horizontally. R2 will ascend, and L2 will descend. Put enemies near the center of the drone's view to mark them. If we can find an enemy. I know they're around here somewhere. There we go. Some more advanced controls are using down on the D-pad to zoom in, or using it again to return to regular view. While using right on the D-pad will activate your vision, either night vision or thermal vision if you have those upgrades. The drone's skill tree is mostly self-explanatory. Battery increases the duration that you can use the drone from a base of 40 seconds. Night vision adds the night vision ability. Range increases the distance the drone can travel from the player from a base of 120 meters. Speed increases movement speed from a base of 19 meters per second. Mark area increases the drone's ability to mark enemies relative to their position from the center of the screen. Stealth makes the drone move quietly, so enemies are less able to hear it. Cooldown affects the recharge speed after the drone is destroyed, from a base of 40 seconds. Noisemaker is an equipable skill used with the R3 button. This is similar to the explosive EMP in medic skills. Zoom increases the drone's magnification from 2 times to 3 times. Armor increases the amount of damage a drone can take. And finally, Thermal Vision adds the Thermal Vision ability. Now, one of the glitches I'm hoping they'll fix in the full retail version is the ability to run the drone directly into the helicopter's rotary blades and doing that to take it down, as you can see here. Pretty funny the first time but it makes the game way too easy. Oh, 